Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Oleg and I'm your host today. So, many people ask me, what kind of bike should I buy? And that's a good question to ask yourself, what kind of bike you need? Since I'm riding today with my kids, as you can see, one of the bike, it's not a powerful bike. And I don't usually ride most powerful bikes as some people um, want to buy. I ride all kind of bicycles since I have a choice and you can do the same if you want to but again you only need one or two bicycle to have you need one of the fastest bike if you want to go fast and one portable bicycle so you can take it with you when you travel so let me show you some of the bicycle i use today and then i'll go with you about what kind of bicycle you want to buy so today i'm going i'm riding uh, with my kids so I have one bot S9, which only like $500 right now on sale. I have a special code. They only have like limited amount of bicycle left and then they're gonna discontinue to sell them. Uh, I mean the S9 model. They might bring different models later on next year. And I have a Skylark by Nafta. It's a adult bicycle, but because you can load down the seat so low, like really low that my son who is uh, only eight years old can easily put both feet on the floor and you're gonna tell me oh the children don't need electric bicycle uh, because they are dangerous for them uh yes you might be right because usually it depends on the state but he's not really riding this bike as electric most of the time most of the time he just keep it on without turning on the pedal assist it comes with one gears only and over here the button it's turn off pedal assist so once you push it there's no pedal assist and he pedals the bicycle as a regular bicycle so in case he need to climb the hill or catch up with the speed he's going about 10 miles an hour and he can go easily 22 miles an hour on this bike if he wants to but usually the top speed he going is like 15 miles i would say uh because he tried to be very safe once he's gonna be comfortable then he will use pedal assist but at this moment this bicycle is probably the best you can buy for the child if you want him to ride with you as an electric bicycle because you easy to adjust very portable the frame easy foldable handlebar foldable adjustable steam can go up you got headlight over here horn so and the only negative i would say for the child uh you might i may consider to replace maybe eventually um, but he's okay to break if the hands are small these adults is breaking so it's kind of hard to reach for the child other than that it's a great bicycle for any age i would say as long as they can feed the bike and my son is only eight and he can put both feet on the ground so it makes and it can go up i will post a link in description video where i ride this bike and test it so adult who is six feet tall easily can ride this bike as well and it comes with a rack as well so this one is actually a dirt bike with no pedals at all and this for my daughter i think it's like a little bit suron it comes like with a shock which actually really nice bouncy and going over the different terrain very easy it can go up to 15 miles an hour it comes with an app where you can put it a restriction to five miles an hour front fork braking front so and over here handle made for the kids so it's very close so they can easily to stop full throttle and bell so it's a very basic but with nice suspension so it's a good like balance bike but it's electric dirt bike and they're uh, around 300 dollars very inexpensive battery i believe inside easily removable you can replace it but it's not like easy removal and when i put them in my car i think this bike takes the most space because it's not foldable so let's now talk about what bicycle you need i'm at santa monica between santa monica i would say and topanga somewhere in the center and let's see what people ride because if you're gonna go to the beach you will not see much powerful bicycle on the beach because 
most people riding only like 10 to 15 miles and whoever rides faster they are just very dangerous here and some beaches actually have a restriction so they have a restriction 10 or 50 miles an hour and we usually go about 10 no more than 10 usually on the beach so that's the speed of just basic bicycle and i rode this bicycle yesterday as well i put about six five six miles on it still have 100 percent battery and you can see the people riding just regular bicycle because on the flat surface you can ride regular bicycle but if you have a knees problem and you want electric that's a great options and for the beach you don't need heavy bicycle you don't need fat tie tires bicycle this one one butt actually does everything you need for the beach i can go up to 18 miles an hour i believe with pedaling come with six gears and it's very soft nice pedaling that's why it's very efficient with a power i can ride it probably for 30 miles with pedaling and i will still have power because the battery is not large but the way it's kind of use the power very efficient so it's not gonna takes as you can see there's not much bicycles right now because it's actually middle of the week but when you're gonna go any other day to the beach uh, you're gonna see mostly rental which rent like e-moped style some mini bike sometimes and uh, most of the time you're gonna see just a regular bicycle because you don't want to ride electric bicycle fast when there's many people that's why you need to ask yourself what kind of bicycle you need to buy and what you're gonna use this for. Are you gonna use this for the just beach riding, grocery store, or you're gonna go commute to work? You need to go like off-road riding, like this Aventon probably right now I can see right there. So that's the first electric bicycle. And um, you need to have kind of idea and decision what you need it for so if you need very powerful bike then you know what you're gonna use this for because you need to remember when you buy powerful electric bicycle with a big battery they usually weigh over 65 pounds so when people buy they never think about how heavy they are and it's very hard to lift always when you have some health issues so most people buying electric bicycle to pedal because sometimes you have health issue you cannot really pedal and then you realize you cannot really lift the bicycle to put it on your raft and so on that's why i prefer to use a one butt it's much lighter for example it's only like 43 pounds so that's something you need to consider like uh, if you want foldable as you're gonna go to any group there's another bike but most of them actually gonna be um just regular bike mostly like a road bike and so on so when you're gonna go like um, uh, when you're gonna go to any group and ask question which one is the best bike to buy you're gonna see about maybe 70 percent will say electric um, I think it's very wrong because electric does not fit everyone and they are not the best but they are popular because a lot of people bought them and I have a group for used bicycle to sell and I see a lot of people sell them because they cannot ride it it's very heavy they cannot take with them with, when it's RV people take to RV but they usually very seldom use them because to remove the bicycle from the box it's about 65 pounds very heavy now it's maybe a little bit less but again about 60 pounds it's a lot of weight to remove the battery you have to fold it so that's something considered as well. There's some bicycle which you don't have to fold it. You can simply uh, remove it. It will be like drop off battery or same like in uh, one bot or any like even the Skylark. You can easily remove the battery without folding. That's another good options. But where are you going to ride it? Just the beach. You can get simple non-expensive electric bicycle under thousand dollars if you're planning to go hunting then you need a fat tire bike most likely dual motor because you're gonna ride uh, in a off-road mode like but dual motors are bicycle you have to learn the skills to ride they are not the safest one easy to fall 
if you are not experienced and there is uh, another electric bike uh, let's see what the brand oh the chain hanging probably rental the chain actually hanging right there so it's probably rental it's chains fall off so I would assume it's rental because the person cannot even put the chain back but you need to ask yourself how you're gonna use this so once you find out like one once you know what you're gonna use this for you can start to shop don't uh, listen to all the people who post recommendation in groups usually if you ask the group but if you do decide to ask question in group any group like i'm talking about generic group ask question and uh, give some information give information how much you weight how tall are you and what you're gonna use this for because if you give them only question which one is best you're gonna get a lot of crap to listen and you will be more confused and people just give them give you advice based on the what they use and what they like because they never use any other bicycle that's why when you're shopping for the bike you need first again to do analysis what do you need it for what the distance you're gonna travel for are you gonna use the pedals or you're gonna use a throttle do you want to use a throttle up to 28 miles per hour or more or less or 20 miles because some bicycle only going to 20 miles by legally some bicycle allow you to go off-road mode illegally like basically not street legal but it will be off-road mode so it means some for private property they can go 28 30 miles an hour on throttle only with me on top with heavy person like 20 215 pounds that's why every bike have different specs and some people want mid drive motor because they're gonna do mountain riding and some people want a torque sensor with hub motor because they want to get some exercise and you're gonna see some people if you're gonna go to Aventon or anywhere some people say buy with torque sensor the best bike you can buy on the market you're gonna get uh, something maybe you don't need because torque sensor are great bicycle with torque sensor but they are not bicycle to pedal for somebody who has a bad knees hard issue blank issue who cannot really pedal hard and they want to go fast so you might consider that as well you may want to go with the cadence sensor cadence sensor it works a little bit better for people who doesn't want to hard pedaling they just want to enjoy the ride but they want to go fast so with cadence sensor you can go to the top speed just slowly moving your feet because it will trigger the motor like and it will activate and it will go to the top speed with cadence sensor and most of them will go about 28 miles an hour so we don't have much electric bicycle today on the beach i think not only because there's not many people but more people riding regular bicycle and i actually like regular bicycle that's why i'm riding actual one but and i'm running on the speed number one actually and uh, it's so like it's keep up with me when i need it but usually if i go over 10 miles an hour i just naturally pedal it because i will not use any power that's why i still have 100 percent after six miles because it's nice pedaling and if you want any of this bicycle or any other bicycle i'm gonna have i will put link in description e-bike advisory that's my new website so you can get any discount and you feel free to message me on uh, facebook i'm gonna have this link in description ask me questions about any bicycle i reviewed and maybe i can help you to decide which one is right for you i hope you like this video so you can like it subscribe and use one of the links in the description to buy the bicycle for you and have a great day bye